Good evening, YouTube. All right, I'm here to make a quick video. I don't know if it's going to be quick, because every time I say quick, it turns into 30 minutes to an hour. So, <clears throat> I'm going to wait till I get some other people to come on, so I don't have to repeat this story all over again. So, I'm going to give you about a few more minutes. <sighs> Drink some water. Hey, whoever the one person is on here. Who is this on here? Monique? Who's on here? Darren? Say hello so I can see who I'm talking to. I hate when y'all do that. Oh, I need to drink more water. All right. Let me go ahead and tell y'all what happened today. All right, now. Today I had three blocks with Grubhub. I had 11 to 1, then I had 3 to 5, and 6 to 8. But my earlier shift from 11 to 1 had to be extended to 2 o'clock. Well, actually around 2.30. Now, I just had finished through my last... Um, two hours. Let me tell you what happened with Grubhub. Now, I had an hour break in between, so I did my Uber Eats, picked up two, two orders from Uber Eats. And, of course, that was hell. And I need to understand with uh, Uber Eats, how I did two deliveries and I only got $4.30 something cent. I was like, I made Thirteen dollars and eighty something cents all day with Uber Eats with three deliveries. And I had a double batch order from Zaxby's. So I went and picked up the order from Zaxby's. First of all, it started pouring down rain in cats and dogs. And I picked up the two orders from Zaxby's and six o'clock my block with Grubhub was gonna start. So I said, okay. I'm going to still be able to drop off these two orders. And if I get an order with Grubhub, I'll be accepted. And then make my way to the restaurant with Grubhub after I finish my two um, drop-offs with Grub with Uber Eats. Oops. So, anyways. So, let me tell you what happened at Uber Eats first before I tell y'all about Grubhub drivers stealing tips no stealing orders from other drivers so I picked up two orders double orders for Zaxby's and hey David picked up my two orders from Zaxby's for Uber Eats the first person I went I had six drinks one big huge drink I'll show you one huge drink from Zaxby's small little child's cup and meat and other regular drinks. So I had that and I had two different orders. So I went to the first order to drop it off. So it was an apartment complex. I called the person and asked him, can he go, can he step outside of the door? Because um, I have three drinks plus the bag and I needed him to tell me out of those six drinks, which ones was his. Because I couldn't take all six drinks to the door and and the bag. This dumb motherfucker gonna tell me no. Alright. So I said, alright. Your order's canceled. I canceled it. Gook, canceled, went on to my second delivery, dropped off my second delivery, and you know, gave them their food. I should have gave that other person their order too. He only had one order. I end up, you know, tasting some of the chicken. I don't even like Zaxby's. So I end up 
um, basically really throwing it out, took a nibble of the chicken um, tenders, which I did not like, and drank the tea. The tea tastes almost like water. So I drank the tea, and I still got another tea. Ah, I wasted it, damn it. And got the other tea in the other cum holder. See, look. So I got two drinks and threw out the rest of the food. So this fool, he didn't want to come to the door. I said, well, come to the, can you come to the door? Because I have six drinks. And I needed to know out of those six, which um, four of the drinks was his. He wanted me to, so I, you know what? You want to act like a fool? I end up um, going to, this tastes like water. Ugh. That name is sweet tea. So, um, so I moved on. You won't be getting your fucking food today. Not tonight. I can't ask you to come to your door. I mean, I said, can you just step outside so I can know where you at? I'm driving around the apartment complex. You know? Tell me no. No. What about that? No to this. No that I'm drinking your damn tea. And call, then I called the um, support, customer support, and I told them what happened. I said, I am not going to be threatened and get, put myself in a hostile situation. I told them what happened. I told them I had six drinks and two bags, and I needed to know. Um, so obviously, I was going to need help with those drinks. How I'm going to carry all those drinks in a bag in one hand, walk into the park, and I'm, walk, I'm not going to walk around the apartment complex looking for you you know I said well which apartments are you because I'm driving around and around but anyway moving on to the next dropped off the second order then I had to go and pick up my Grubhub order the Grubhub order I picked that up you know Mexican order that went fine even though um, I accepted that order about a little bit after 6 o'clock but I didn't get to the damn restaurant till 7.03. And it was like in Duluth. On Pleasantdale Road. Real congested area. Always congested. I don't care what time of the day it is. Morning, noon, night. It's always congested. So, I said, okay. I got um, two hours on this block. Maybe I'll get another delivery. So, I get another delivery. A second request comes in at 7.25. I said, okay, by the time I get that order and drop that off, the 8 o'clock, my block will be over. I get to the second restaurant. I get there. They close. I said, what the hell? You had me driving to a restaurant that's closed. I called driver support. And they're telling me, you don't get paid for that delivery. You don't get paid for going out there unless you pick up the food and deliver it. I said, well, y'all have, I said, I need to be compensated if someone burning up my gas. How are you supposed to go? Well, the restaurant's supposed to let us know when they close. Really? The restaurant's supposed to let you know when they closing. If the app was turned off in the first goddamn place, then there's no way a customer would be able to place no order and turn around, close, and leave. And I'm sitting there driving to the um place with no, with, with, um, no form of compensation. So, at that point, I had got another request to Firestone. Now, this is where the story gets interesting. So, I said, fine. I said, well, my block is over. My, my block is almost over. I asked the person on the phone, how much was that delivery? She said $20 or whatever. Now, I don't know if that was $20 for me to get paid or was it $20 for the customer's order and she told me $20 so I said fine I said if I'm getting $20 out of this deal including the tip I'll take that but it was anything less I wasn't gonna take it but then for me it was almost it was going towards my house so it wasn't that bad and it was down the street so I get to the Firestone firehouse sub place they telling me some dude, some um, 
Indian dude or whatever saw the picture of his face, he picked up my order. I said, well, I came here to pick up an order for Dawes. Last name, D-A-W-S. That order already left. I said, what do you mean already left? I said, um, so he couldn't make, he ain't gonna make no order or nothing else. He told me somebody already took it. I said, well, that order was mine. So it shows my face with the person with the order. I showed him. I said, well, what am I supposed to do? So at that point, I was like, well, damn, what the hell am I supposed to do? The, full, the order was on my screen. I hit arrived. So I hit arrived and I hit delivered and then I called customer support to tell them that I came to to the fire um to the restaurant somebody else took my order and they need to take it away off my screen because someone took the order already so while at this point it's already eight o'clock it's after eight o'clock to be exact they're telling me you ain't supposed to mock the order delivered and then and then I said what the hell did I what the hell did I just got through telling them I just got through telling Grubhub that somebody else took the order when I got here and the guy told me that somebody already took the order and this guy comes in there all the time this other lady she tells me yeah that guy right there he always do that all the time he comes in he takes the wrong he always takes the wrong person's order all the time so I'm calling driver support they're telling me um, you don't get paid unless you pick up the food and drop it off I said you know what this is the second time today in this last um, block that I went to a closed restaurant y'all ain't con y'all gonna compensate me for that then y'all take me to another restaurant I'm telling you the person's telling me that the orders already gone and somebody else took the order and left with the food and then you're telling me I'm not gonna get compensated for that either hell no so this is what they told me and this is where it comes in this is the discrepancy when you work when you're not working on a block when you're not working on a block and you turn on your app and you say okay you know what I'm just gonna take me some food orders and you get assigned to an order and um, I'm gonna read your comments in a minute and you get and you pick up an order Grubhub will unassign that order in the middle of you driving with that bag of food and you will not get paid for that delivery if you pick up an order at a restaurant and you're not assigned a block and that order is reassigned to somebody else you're not gonna get that pay you're not gonna get paid and that order with the address is not gonna be on your screen it's all of a sudden it's gonna go, go away and it's going to be showing that that order was reassigned to someone else. It's going to show up yours is canceled. And then um, you just simply have a bag of food and not going to get compensated for it. So I'm sitting here. Possibly have missed out on $20 on a tip from this thieving person. They showed me the name and everything. And then he say he does that all the time. Let me see. What y'all say? Hey, I had a McDonald's order and ex the McDonald's drive through person. What do you say? Drive through person is everything in the bag because I don't smell the fries. She asked me if my first if it's my first time doing Uber Eats, and I said. What? Well, you said what? I don't know what you said. Grubhub put drivers on the low end of the toilet bowl. No, and she said, well, use the drive for Uber, and I can't be on my way. Wouldn't you know she forgot the fries? And I figures he probably not. He's probably not even working for Grubhub. Just asking for food. I don't give a damn. Whatever. No, he worked for Grubhub because they showed his screen on the face on the on the um screen. So 
what he was saying was that he said that what people would be doing now is they would hang out at the Firestone and they would go into the restaurant and then when a Grubhub order comes in then the, the, the person will hit ready for driver and then they standing there and they'll get the order because they sit up here like a damn vultures around the restaurant getting the order because see that way um they'll get the order and if they're not working if they're not assigned to a block all Grubhub knows is who's the closest person to pick up the food and they'll pick and they'll give it to them however if you're not assigned a block that means you sit up in here cherry picking what orders you want to pick up and then you figure okay I'm gonna just I'm just gonna pick up these because see think of it if you're not working a block you're not worried about the guarantee you're not worried about the guarantee you're not worried about getting ten dollars per hour for the guarantee so all you're doing is simply working on Grubhub and when the order comes through and it's real time up until eight o'clock that's another thing it's real time so it'll show you exactly what you got in real time but at eight o'clock it goes away because they're calculating the figures for the next day just to let anybody know that so if you looking at the real time you gonna know exactly what you got paid and they're gonna sit up there and take the order deliver it and then run back to the firestone and keep doing that over and over again i already did the roadie i don't want to do roadie Number one, roadie is you have to go con cross country for one. I already had that app. I already signed up for roadie. I can never get anything. Matter of fact, I use roadie for my own personal um, um, thing. I had to have someone. He was a real nice guy too, Travis. I had to pick up something from HH Greg. And I asked him, can he make sure he pick up that file cabinet? And I paid him $40 to roadie to deliver to my house. And it wasn't even that far. It was like five miles, six miles off of 124 to my house. So I I look, I had roadie. I took that off my phone, but I may I may put that back again. But I can never get nothing with roadie. Only thing I get with roadie is um I use it as a customer. But as a person to get paid, I haven't done it. Because every time I put in a bid to pick up something, they always change their mind. And it was a lot of orders for cupcakes. I may put that back on there. But yeah, I already, I already signed up for Rody and everything. So I may look at that as another option. But I haven't got anything. And like I said, they want people to pick up furniture and pay them a hundred dollars to go to South Carolina to Georgia I mean just the stupid stuff that's the only stupid things I've seen on roadie I ain't seen nothing good so let's roadie change their mind and they started offering better um you know better um what you call it better trips and it's local then I'll do it but I had I already signed up for roadie matter of fact I got $20 credit sitting there that I could use. I ain't got nothing to um pick up. Um, I ain't got nothing to pick up. Now I do need somebody to go to H H. I mean, I do need someone to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up some dirt and pick up some um um bags of mulch and stuff for me. If somebody lives in Atlanta and y'all want to do that, so anybody who wants to um go to the nearest Lowe's. And you'll got a, like a little van that could load up like 10 bags of mulch and some um, and some other little gardening stuff. Let me know. I'll pay y'all to drop it off to my house because I ain't got no truck. And I'm not putting that stuff in my car. Not with my white leather seats. So I think the next vehicle I buy, I'm going to get me a little SUV or uh, um, something like a truck. I'm not going to get another car. I think at this point I'm gonna get me a used truck so I could um you know load up stuff in the um truck. I don't need no car. I think this will be my last car. Next time I'm gonna get me a truck. 
But anyway, so that's what that person did. That lying, thieving ass, whatever your name is. Trust me. I should have told the person at the fire firehouse to report him to Grubhub that he's been um, taking wrong orders. And he does that every time. This white lady was like, he does it every time he come in here. He takes the wrong people's orders. And then, you know, 